Hey, this is Scott, and today I'm out here just to test out a couple of furry wind covers for your microphones. Uh, as you can see here, it's a very, very windy day, so I thought it'd be a good chance to come out here and test these out. I'm struggling a little bit to hold on to the uh, boom pole here, so I apologize for any handling noise that you might hear, but just focus on how effectively these are cutting out the wind noise. That's the main point of this video. And I'm also in a very noisy environment. This car is driving by, there's a construction site across the street from me, so it's a pretty noisy environment. But again, I wanted to focus on the wind noise specifically. On the top here, I have the Ryko Super Shield with their furry wind cover on top of that and on the bottom I have just the slip-on style there's the foam inside and it has the hair on top of there that slip-on style type wind cover um, and just I want to see how effectively these can both cut out the wind noise it's as simple as that um, inside of the Ryko Super Shield I have the DD S mic 2 and on the bottom here I have the Sennheiser MKE 600 and this is Sennheiser's own slip-on wind cover here so I found it to be a pretty effective one compared to some other brands so I think this is a pretty fair comparison of what you can expect in terms of this style of wind cover but of course something like the Ryko Super Shield is larger a little bit more complex to set up and more expensive so I want to see is it worth it you know just how much is it worth it between the medium constant wind that we have and then these strong gusts of wind at what point does something like this kind of break apart and uh, when does this become necessary so hopefully this video will give you a better idea of just how effective these both are in comparison and which one maybe is more appropriate for you in the situations that you find yourself in if you are curious about uh, anything here the Ryko Super Shield these microphones the boom poles uh, I'll have links in the description for video reviews of all of this stuff um, as well as where you can purchase it. So if you want to get anything here, just check that video description and I'll have more information down there. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it down below and I will definitely get back to you. If you like this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it if you'd like. Don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future and as always, thank you for watching.